Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we are going to understand the user interface of MS Word. So in the previous video, we learned how to open MS Word, right? So right now, I'm going to make you understand the user interface. So whenever you open the MS Word document, it will be opening like this. So you can see at the top of the uh, page, you can see the quick access toolbar. It is, this is also known as QAT, quick access toolbar, which is available only from 2007, uh, 13 and 16 and also in the current 2019 versions as well. It is not available in the earlier versions. And you can see the middle of the document and that is the title of the document, which is going to display as document number three, document number two and document number one and so on, right? And you can see the uh, sign in button and also the control button which is used for minimize, maximize and close. And you can see this is the tabs, this is the this is known as tabs and like just home tab and uh, insert tab, design and layout and references. So these are all known as tabs and tabs will be having uh, groups. So you can see if you want to open the uh, home tab, you can find out clipboard group, font group and paragraph group and each group will be having some commands it's just like uh, tools commands or tools so like bold command even italic command in the underline command like bullets and paragraph so the home or design all this area is just known as tabs and down to the tab we have the groups inside the groups we have the commands and also known as tools and actually this whole area known as the ribbon bar a ribbon bar right so if you wanted to hide the ribbon bar you can directly simply click on the button collapse so that will get closed and if you wanted to open the same if you wanted to bring it back and simply double click on any tab double click on any tab to bring it back and you also can double clicking on any tab to close the same I'll just click open the same by double clicking on the home tab right and you can see these are all the page handlers this is the page margin handlers and you also can enable this margin and you can disable this margin by going to a view menu from the view menu there is an option known as whether do you want the relates or not so if you want to uncheck the ruler it will be hidden and just check the box to get it back so this is this is a working area where you can write the document and just press enter and this is a place that where you are preparing your documents at in the footer you have the uh, status bar where you can see your current running page one after one and the total words available in this page and the language that you are using in this document and the right hand side you can see the page view options if you wanted to view in the reading mode you can simply click on this read mode option if you open the file in read mode just view it you cannot you cannot modify the data in this mode it is just only for view purpose and you can simply press right arrow and left arrow to navigate from one page to other page yeah and again i'll just click on the uh, print layout where you can see how it is going to print on the paper and you can you also can edit the uh, document in this mode and the next one is that the web page mode if you wanted to see how it looks like on the internet web page you need to click on this web page so it will be simply turned into the web page mode and to bring it back simply click on the uh, print layout mode and you can see that last one the zoom bar where you can increase the size of the page and where you can decrease the size of the page I ensure that i am not increasing the font size but i'm just increasing the total page size by just making it zoom that's it so this is the zoom handler where you can move it to up and down so yeah i'll just keep it in the middle side and presently we are working in document number one if you wanted to open any other files that are available in this computer and just simply go to file and click on to open the document which are available somewhere so i'll just click on open and it is giving me a chance to choose the location from where you want to open so i'll just go to this pc from this pc i will be opening a drive so from this pc i will be opening tags or even gstar1 data which is available in this document presently i am opening a gstar1 data so now the data is going to import that is a new file presently i'm working in document number one document number two and document number three right now i have opened a file which is available in my computer the file name is what the gstar1 data right so again you can close these files even by clicking on the close button or you also can go to file and click on close to close the same and you also can press 
alt plus f4 from the keyboard to do the same and if you don't want to learn right now i'm clicking on home or insert or even a design or even any layout using mouse right so what if if you wanted to navigate the same without using mouse in that specific case we can just press f6 from the keyboard so that the navigation tool will be activated so that the uh, navigation tools will be open now if you wanted to go to home just press h and if you wanted to go to insert and just press n so right now i'm going to press n from the keyboard so i'll be navigated to insert from the insert if you wanted to insert shapes and just press s and h so i'll be activating the shapes i can select any one from here to insert the same yes so this is how you can navigate from one place to other place using f6 f6 is for navigator without using mouse and yes you also can use the right arrow to go to page down and up arrow to go to page up and uh, you also can use right and left to move from right side to left side or left side to right side and you can press home button to reach your blinking cursor to uh, the first line in the first page and you also can press n to reach your button to end and you also can use the page down and the page up options to move from up to down again down to up in the next video we see how to open a document and how to create ms word documentations files and how to save the files and also how to delete the files right thank you